Hi there, my name is David and welcome to Bricks, Box and Mox. Today I want to show you this Alfa Romeo Giulia Quadrifoglio. And this is a build I'm actually very happy with. And I have also created some instructions for this. So if you want those, just email me and the email will be down in the description below. And I really encourage you to check them out because there are a lot of interesting building techniques in this. So yeah, check them out. But yeah, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you will get notified when I upload new videos. And please follow me on Instagram as well. But now, let's get on with the video. The Alfa Romeo Giulia is an extremely pretty car in my opinion, and it's my absolute favorite sedan. It has a front engine rear wheel drive platform and it also has an exactly 50-50 weight distribution. It comes in a lot of different versions with different performance figures, but of course I chose to make the most extreme one, the Quadrifoglio. It's claimed to have an acceleration from 0 to 100 km per hour in 3.9 seconds and have a top speed of up to 307 km per hour or 191 miles per hour. It's also extremely light at a weight of just 1524 kg. And it actually was the fastest sedan around the new building. What sets the Quadrifoglio apart from other Giulia models other than performance figures is first of all the carbon fiber front splitter, but also the bigger air intakes, twin intercoolers, cooling outlets on the bonnet and yeah just a lot more air intakes in general. It also have different side skirts and a carbon fiber lip spoiler which is so small it was hard to recreate for a minifig scaled car. It has a bigger rear diffuser and quadruple exhaust pipes and also active aerodynamics both at the front and the rear. I chose to make this 7 studs wide which I think works perfect for this. I also took inspiration from my Audi RS6 Mach, which also is a 7 star wide car. The hardest part to recreate, which almost always is the hardest part to recreate from modern cars, was the headlights. It took a lot of trial and error to figure out how to make those, but I'm really happy with the result. The iconic Alfa front grille was quite easy to make, just because I've used similar building techniques before. I only used levers for a windscreen effect this time, just because I didn't find a windscreen that looked good enough on this one. I also created some side mirrors for this, which I normally forget actually, but I think they look a little bit big. The side is quite simple as usual, but looks good so yeah. The roof is easy to take off and it's hinged together with slopes to get the sedan roofline look. The back is quite clean and it's actually a bit too clean for my taste. The rear lights are really recreated the easy way, but I think the overall organic look of the rear makes up for that. And once again I used binoculars as exhaust pipes, but aren't they just the perfect pieces for that? I also created a very very simple interior for this. And you can just about fit two minifigs inside a car. But if you want the minifigs to break their necks, you can actually fit three minifigures inside. Alright, thank you for watching, hope you liked the video, don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on Instagram as well. So yeah, that's it for today, bye for now.